As many people in the United States start their own businesses, mine was started with a passion and encouragement from my family and friends at the time also. So I started Sure Life Labs in 1991 and I started out with basically six products and my company goals and they still are to this day was to research and manufacture the broadest and, and most uh, superior product line for the entire sport fishing industry. Uh, my wife and I both hunt and we both fish. We spent many, many days of our lives on dates, hunting and fishing, observing wildlife. And, and when you put fish into um, live wells, to me a live well on a bass boat is basically an aquarium on that boat. And when you put them in there, they're going to get stressed. I mean, it's the same thing with tropical fish when you're shipping tropical fish, because 90% of the tropical fish raised in the United States are farmed in Florida, so they're shipped in plastic bags and styrofoam crates all over the United States by way of airliners. And in order for them to get them to wholesalers, they've got to be sedated, and they do use tranquilizers on tropical fish. Well, we did the same thing with the bass. We calmed them down. One of the, one of the key features of our product back then, which is still today, was to calm them down so that they don't beat themselves up in the live wells trying to escape, harm themselves, fin other fish, and basically stress themselves to death. I went to University of Florida to study to become a, uh, a human doctor, but that didn't uh, work out, which thank God it did not. Obviously, God was looking out for me. Because my passion was really with, with fish. So when I got out of college from the University of Florida, I got hired by a company called Jungle Laboratories. One of the first assignments they did was send me to Odessa, Florida to Lake Keystone to meet a man named Doug Hannon. And I had read about Doug since I was a kid. So he was a big idol of mine. And um, when I went down and met Doug, it was a dream come true for me. And that's where the first catch and release formulation came from. We make products for shad, blueback herring, we have all these rectifying uh, formulations in case problem, uh, problems uh, arise with fungus, bacteria. Uh, if there's foam on the water, that can be a problem. We manufacture different types of fish feeds. Uh, we have pure uh, 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 calming agents that people can uh, use in shipping fish. See, our products are used all the way in the bait industry from the time a fish is raised at a bait farm. And like I mentioned earlier, tropical fish mostly are raised in Florida. Well, most of the bait fish that you purchase, purchase in the United States are raised around Arkansas, some in Mississippi, those type of states. And our products are used all the way from the time that minnow or shiner is harvested from that pond, just like people harvest crops with cotton and so forth or corn. But they harvest these fish, bring them into captivity. They've got these long raceways. Well, they've got to treat that water. And once they treat that water, then they get put onto 18-wheelers, which these 18-wheelers have massive tanks on them. They transport them to wholesalers. Well, that person has to treat that water to maintain the lives of those fish. Once it gets to a wholesaler, the wholesaler resells it to a retail store. Then the retail store keeps those fish. And ultimately, a fisherman goes in with his minnow bucket or live well or bait box or whatever and purchases two, three, six dozen minnows to go fishing with, goes out in the lake, spends several hours, hours that day fishing, and ultimately that fish gets used as bait to hopefully catch a fish. Well, the point of that is, is that our products play a key part of maintaining those lives of those fish in captivity all the way from the time those fish are harvested and used ultimately on the end of the hook. Because those fish are basically a commodity. And if those fish are not kept alive, there is no commodity. And if there's no commodity, that person's not in business. If that person's not in business, we're not in business, which in itself speaks a lot for our product line. Okay, I'm really excited about our new catch and release formulation. This is probably the sixth or seventh version of this formulation since 1982. But, you know, some of the key components of it, and these are very, very, very critical in a live well on a, on a bass boat, is that it calms the fish down in captivity. It replaces lost electrolytes. It stimulates the natural slime coat of the fish, and this is very important because the slime coat on the fish is, to it is able to inhibit bacterial and, viral, uh, bacterial and, and fungal growth on the fish. So we stimulate the natural slime cells of the fish. We reduce bacterial and, very importantly, viral loads into, in the water so the fish does not get infected, plus fungus. And it also uh, helps remove surface foam off the surface of the water. Some of the other key features of our new formulation is that it removes ammonia from the water, and this is very critical because now you can reduce down the frequency of live well changes in the water also. It removes 
chlorine from the water. And this is very critical also because if you're going to add ice to the water, which we highly recommend, obviously, to cool the water down, ice sometimes will contain chlorine from your city water plant. So you've got to be able to remove that. Our product instantly removes chlorine from the water from all sources. By using our products all the way in the live well from the time you catch your fish in the morning and hopefully your tournament trail is using it in their live well uh, weigh-in trials and then maybe the, the live release trailer or boiler methods were being released into the wild, back into the wild, our products give those fish a better than fighting chance of, of, of living once you, you put them back into their natural habitat. After 25 years of being involved in this industry, I'm very excited, especially with this new formulation. And you know, we're, we really want to help educate people and give people the inf proper information out there. Doug and I and Lane, my wife Lane, have done so much research over the last 25 years. And we've got so many scientific studies proving that if, we, if some of the, the uh, information that we can share with you is adopted into the, live, or to the weigh-in system and into, into the live wells of the boats, that we can really, really help reduce the, the losses out there, increase the survival rate of all these fish entirely across the United States and all these tournament organizations.